we're gaming folks another bracket set for you today and the loser of this set is out of the tournament it's single elimination from this point on we've got quarantate versus tree quarantate i have seen around for quite a while uh don't know if they have any noteworthy results under their belt yet but definitely a formidable player you see them on the ladder and they know their stuff tree i think is a relative newcomer Judging by the showdown name, maybe they've taken part in some sort of ladder tournament or suspect test or something. But that being said, let's get into the action. We've got a Tyranitar lead versus Zapdos lead. Very standard situation. Zapdos tends to exit and going straight to a Dugtrio. BPing out to a Dugtrio. Dangerous. If it's adamant, it might be able to KO. Looks like a bulkier Tyranitar, so. High price to pay there, losing your Dugtrio. But Dug plus Swamp it. So, Tyranitar dangerously low. That could be good for Tree. We don't know what their plan is. In comes Gengar on what was probably predicted to be an Earthquake. Skarmory going to come in on the Celebi. Tank the Leech Seed and go for, I imagine, a Spike. Celebi could be HP Fire. Quarantate was playing carefully there. Didn't want to take the brunt of an HP Fire. That's fair. A lot of back and forth here. Toxic on the Zapdos represents either... Uh, Thunderbolt Ice Toxic is a common set. Toxic helps when Zapdos likes HP Grass because it gives it something to hit Swamp it with. Or it could represent a defensive Zapdos set, which wouldn't be too uncharacteristic of a team like this. But usually on a sort of mid-rangey TSS squad like what Quarantade has, you see more offensive variants of Zapdos. Typically. Now that's a big focus punch. Great move on the incoming Swamp it chunking that nicely and tree doesn't look like they've got a spike setter it looks like some kind of dug offense so and there's a stami last quarant establishing a layer of spikes on the field but stami pretty well positioned here quarantate could easily have blissey as the last pokemon taking a big hydro pump to earn some chip damage on the stami not a bad move Probably going to see a Protect come down for some Chip Heal. And bit of a mind game here. Will Starmie go for the attack or go for the Rapid Spin? Skarm goes for another peck. Now Starmie is very low. It's the thing about Starmie as a spinner. It's a pretty good spinner, offensive Starmie, because it can... It's fast, it can threaten Gengar, but its health is very limited. And Quarantate plays the mind game again, but believes that... They can get the upper hand here. Stami now forced out by this Gengar. Stami can get a Hydro Pump, but Gengar looks quite defensive, and Giga Drain's going to earn some HP back. Nice. Quarantate has established the single spike on the field, which is really good. It's going to pressure three of the team members remaining for Tree. Unfortunate Paralysis there. And looks like probably not a defensive Zapdos, based on the damage that just took. So probably one of those T-Bolt, HP Ice, Toxic Zapdos sets that i mentioned earlier that makes sense gengar has giga train to cover swamp it help supplement that matchup and could this be a pursuit tar no just a regular physical tar trying to come in on like a double edge double edge could have caught this swamp it it was just a straightforward rock slide which was a good move to chunk the tar there and gengar can't quite Oh, Taunt is an interesting move. Yeah, actually, keeping the Celebi low, that was a really good Taunt. That's dangerous, because Celebi could uh, Psychic you there. It's scary. Might Psychic now. And Quarantade, happy to just keep Celebi low. Psychic only attack means that uh, Tyranitar coming in isn't too bad either, because... Yeah, it actually has to switch out. It could go for a Leech Seed, but you would lose Celebi, which could be disastrous against Swampert. And Quarantate's probably going to try and chunk this Swampert with a big big hit earthquake is the best option probably no double edge then just want to chip down this swamp it for the arrow clean probably quarantate looking to clean this up with arrow in the end game if possible are we going to see an ice beam here no surf could represent that they don't have ice beam on this could be surf toxic something like that so arrow needs to come in celebi does get the crucial recover i think it's like so close to an arrow sweep here, but I don't think Quarantate quite has enough steam left. Nice rock slide though. Tree once again thinking the double edge is coming down, but it wasn't. It was the straightforward rock slide. That of course means that Swampert can come in here and then Quarantate is almost out of steam. Goes for the rock slide here. 
And with flinch chance and hydro pump mischance, uh, manages to dodge one and manages to scare tree enough to not click hydro pump again, bringing the swampit in. And honestly, this is close. Double edge might be able to clean this game up. Looks like a more hmm hydro pump EQ ice beam. Has to go for rock slide, I guess. Can't. Uh, Double Edge can't KO this Swampert, so it has to go for Rock Slide for the flinches, making a miracle happen. I'll put it on a fast for the end game here. See how this plays out. It's possible. Gets another flinch, but Swampert can chip heal on every other turn, so it's not great odds for Quarantate. But if you can manage to break through this Swampert, it's over. No, you get the, the Hydro Pump. The odds were in Swampert's favor there, but there was a slim chance Aero could have made that happen. And Quarantate going down in the first game. Let's see game two, folks. Skarm lead from Quarantate this time. Skarm will often take this Fire Blast just to establish the spike early. Uh, but Quarantate doesn't even want to risk the Skarm health. Goes to Zapdos instead and gets a nice Thunder Wave on Jirachi. Good start. No Blissey from Tree. No incoming Swampit or anything like that. And wow, that sucks. Gets Fire Punch burned. But going Skarm there was probably... Probably meant that uh, Quarantay was expecting a switch out. Tree with a nice fire punch. And Fori is likely going to be able to spin this game. Are we going to see a Tyranitar come in? Nice move from Quarantay trying to scout a Pursuit Tyranitar. Pursuit Tyranitar commonly paired with Flurry, but Tree with a different play going to Blissey. Interesting situation. We're going to see a Focus Punch. Nice move! Predicting the recover on what Tree expected to be an Earthquake. This is why it's good to speed creep Blissey with Swampit so you can threaten that. Often after this first Earthquake, they want a soft boiled in the second one and you can punch them. It's really good to outrun Blissey. And Tree was frightened of a focus punch that time. And there's another mind game. Gets it the right that time. Good move by Tree. And Swampert being this low could be so bad for Quarantate because Swampert is really important for checking, uh, not Salamence, but there could easily be like Metagross or Tyranitar or Aerodactyl in the back, especially on a Spike Squad that looks like it needs some physical presence from Tree. Probably needs some sort of physical attacker in the back. This Mence is mixed Mence. I would imagine there's a physical Tyranitar of some kind. And manages to take out the Fori with one Spike on the field. Jirachi probably trying to... I would imagine this is like toxic Jirachi or something if they, they want to tank that earthquake. That's unlucky. That's actually unlucky. I feel like if Jirachi's staying here, it probably wants to toxic this Swampert to... Uh... Whoa, nice! Okay, nice Ice Beam though. That was really good. Knowing that Tree wanted to preserve the Jirachi for a Spike Sack. And Cat sniping the Salamence. Wow, goes for a counter there on what was expected to be an Earthquake, but Quarantate switched out. And this Tyranitar is indeed probably Pursuit Tyranitar with counter last. Okay. Big Hydro Pump, not quite enough to kill Tyranitar though. That's max health on Tyranitar. This is a speedier Swampert, probably an offensively oriented Swampert. And Jirachi is used as a Spike Sack, and there is indeed an arrow in the back. A nice late game cleaner for this kind of team, a bit of physical presence. The only physical attacker on the team. But Quarantate's arrow. Tree has to be forced out as it's locked into double edge. Now there's a speed tie situation. Quarant wins the speed tie. And that secures the game there. With only Blissey last. And we're on a game three, folks. That was a really close one. There were some great plays from both sides. And a Suicune lead is in a good position turn one. Sorry, let me um, switch the sides. For consistency. We've had Quarant on the bottom. Tyranitar first out on turn one. Suicune with a Calm Mind. Celebi is faster based on the Sandstorm order. So this is probably a more defensive Suicune. And a Leech Seed miss really stinks. That is going to put Quarantate in a terrible spot. But even with the Leech Seed, that's not a great position. Carmine's again expecting a switch out, so Quarantate getting the foot back in. You can afford to recover here, because now with the support of Leech Seed, 
uh, you get a bit more back, but that Ice Beam is doing so much. Just gonna sack the Celebi to bring this lower. And something like a Zapdos or, yeah, an Aerodactyl should, should, uh, Double Edge, should KO that. Yeah, enough to force it out, so probably KOs it. Okay. Goes to Tyranitar. Tyranitar forced out, of course. And that looks like Choice Band damage. 35 is a lot. We're probably going to see a spike. Yep. That's the safest way to go, because if you protect, you get owned. At least Quarantate has the spike, which is super valuable. It's going to pressure Suicune and Metagross and probably other stuff in the back. Quarantate going to go for the Miracle. The uh, You probably just... Oh, it goes, gets the Triple Protect. This probably doesn't matter. This Thunderbolt is KOing. Very likely. And at this point, you probably just hope for Magnetless Magneton low roll in that spot. That's like the best outcome. Wow, nice, uh, nice earthquake there. Catching Metagross. That's a significant swing back. And Metagross is locked into Earthquake there. I almost expected an Ice Beam from Swampert. They're trying to snipe the Salamence again. Tree probably thought the same by going to Suicune, or worst case, it's sacrificed. A ballsy focus punch there, but gets punished by a heads-up body slam from Tree. And Swampert hemorrhaging health. Swampert can no longer check a Tyranitar in the back, and a Tyranitar is likely with this squad, right? Lucky crit, though. Taking out the Salam the uh, sorry, the Snorlax, but obviously gonna fall to this Salamence here. And it's mixed Salamence. Has that been revealed so far? No. Just revealed. Arrow well positioned here. Metagross is dangerously low, so rock resistances are in a lot of trouble. Magneton will probably fall to one of the spike plus double edge. It can't really Oh wow, high value explode though, but and a Heracross last. So no Tyranitar, but Heracross is another Fizz threat to worry about. Looks like probably a Salak set. This is probably a Weather Clear team with Rain Dance Suicune or Rain Dance Magneton then, if that's Salak Hera. Uh, I think Aero just cleans this up. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you just live the hit, so you go for the second HP flying through Intimidate, true. And then after this, you surely just sack Tyranitar and click Double Edge and it should be over. Or you can probably get a hit off with Tyranitar. It can live hits. Yep, you're fine. Double Edge gets the last hit and you're good. Quarantate should progress here. We'll play it out for the fans, of course. And a simple Double Edge secures the game. That was a nail biter. That was so close. Really good showing from Tree. Great back and forth. Brought to a game three. Very close. Down to the wire. We love to see it. And we did get some new donations. Forgive me, I've not quite updated the screen yet, but here they are. We got a new one from Drekka with $10 and no message. I meant a few words, but thank you for the donation. And access denied 25 with another $10 says, clearly this metagame is too entertaining and needs scold and more hazards. I eagerly await when Iron Toxapex goes back too far in time and ends up in Gen 3. That sounds like a terrible future. Let's hope that never happens. You've, you've uh, established a frightening prospect, but thank you for the donation regardless. And thank you everyone for the support, the viewership. The games are getting more intense now. We're in the bracket stage. People are fighting to get here. It's down to the wire. Hope it was exciting to watch. Thank you, everybody.